Do you get frustrated that your channel isn't blowing up, considering the work you put in? Do I get frustrated? I have the same frustration. So here's my thoughts on this. I think this is, I think this is the best question of the day because I think this will reflect into so many people watching, watching this who are, everyone's frustrated with their numbers. Unless you are, you know, Peter McKinnon and you start doing videos and all of a sudden within six months you've got a million subscribers on YouTube. Everybody wants more. Everyone's like, what's next? I want more, I want more, I want more. But everyone is also looking for the shortcut. And so firstly, if you look at, say my YouTube subscribers, the very first year, I put, it, I put in a lot of work, I got a thousand subscribers on YouTube. The second year, I got nearly 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. So you can see the difference between year one and year two. Now when you go on Social Blade on the future predictions, I know you have to take it with a pinch of salt, but it's predicting that I'll hit 50,000 in the third year, and I'll hit 200,000 in the fourth year. I'd say that's blowing up. So I'd say it's basically putting in the building blocks. Now if you look at, Jack Black, right, who's just come on to YouTube and his channel's called Chablinski? Yeah. Nice. Chablinski. He got two million-ish subscribers within the first month. And everyone's going, wow, Jack Black's channel's blowing up. Of course it's blowing up. He spent 20 years putting the foundations in to who is Jack Black before his channel blew up. It's not that his channel blew up, Jack Black blew up. Jack Black went and made loads and loads of films. He was in Tenacious D. He became a comedian and an actor that we loved. And he put 20 years worth of work, his body of work in, before he went onto YouTube, which was just the vehicle which then blew up. So I would say, firstly, I'm not worried about it because I'm thinking long-term. What is it that I want to achieve long-term? If I want to get to a million subscribers, then I'm thinking five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years down the line. Is it feasible? Absolutely, as long as I carry on doing what I'm doing. If I think about how I can grow my channel faster, then it's a case of can I work harder, can I make more videos, and can I make better videos? Now, here's something I feel like I am not a natural YouTuber. I don't mind going on camera. I feel like I've got a niche, but I'm not a natural YouTuber. I'm not 16, 17, 18 years old. I'm not making, you know, I wasn't in the, in the, the vlog tradition. I'm not doing challenges where I'm eating cinnamon or crazy shit like that. And I'm also not trying to jump on trends. I'm trying to make a body of work. And because I'm not a natural YouTuber, I don't think I will just blow up. I think a couple of videos will blow up, as they have, and when that does happen, I think that will really help the, the growth of the channel and YouTube opens the door a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. But on the whole, I'm not a natural YouTuber. Now, it's very similar when, you, when I flip this around to a lot of people watching, like, you might be one of the most beautiful human beings on the planet who has one of the most incredible voices on the planet and just happens to be one of the greatest songwriters of our generation. But most of you, not that I want to be harsh, same as me, most of us haven't got that. We aren't the most beautiful person. We aren't the best songwriter in the world. So then what we have to do is we have to build up this body of work. We have to put the work in because that's the variable which we can change and we have to start working on emotionally tying into an audience or doing something where the audience says, wow, I really believe in that. And that takes a lot more time than just going on camera and just being the best in the world. And if you can do that, great, you win, you jump. That's where you jump from naught to a million very quickly. But if you're not, then what it's about is it's about one step at a time. Am I frustrated? Sometimes I'd like it to go faster, but at the same point, I also have to recognize the reason why it hasn't gone that fast is because Maybe I'm not as good a YouTuber as I think I am. Maybe I'm not this world-class YouTuber because I'm not. So what I've got to do is I've got to do piece by piece. But the numbers show from going from 1,000 to 10,000 to 50,000 to 200,000, the numbers show that the increasing growth will speed up over time. And therefore, whilst it's not viral, it will. It, the numbers will show that I will grow to where I want to get to. So... Not frustrated, but I'm also realistic. I'm realistic about my talent. I'm realistic about what time I can put into it, how much money I can put into it, and where I want to get to is going to take time. And then it comes down to patience, and I can be as patient for this as I want. And I can also stop. If I get to the point where I'm bored of it, I just won't do it anymore. Or if I can see the growth carrying on, and I, I'm thinking I can keep doing this for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, then I'll just keep doing it and, and monitor it each day. So not frustrated, uh, realistic is what I would say.